Hello guys, going through some old comments I have saved, had a pretty cool one here, at least I thought it was pretty cool, so I decided it'd be worth trying out, so I'm kind of tweaking it a little bit. Basically, I took the five last drafts, and took the first overall pick and the second overall pick, and I put them on a team here. Um, not the same team, but different teams, and they're going to be duking it out, so uh, yeah, I'll show you here. The squad and the rest of the team is just made up of AHL players, but I did the whole thing of turning off line changes. So they're going to be stuck there. This isn't what I wanted to do at all. I don't know why I'm coming in here. I'm already lost. Give me one moment while I situate myself. I wanted to go to more rosters, edit lines. There you go. Was that so hard? All right, custom teams. And the Forest Lawn. I don't know where that is, but it's a cool name uh, first. So, we've got Hughes, um, Nico, and Lafreniere on offense. And on defense, we have the Buffalo pairing of Owen Power and Rasmus Dahlin. So, yeah, there you have it. Very solid team for the first. And that will be the only lineup out. And both teams are just going to have Mikey and Net. The... Hammerhead's failure <laughs> didn't really do a whole lot for us, but anyway, um, yeah, so that is the first. Okay, two New Jersey players and two Buffalo Sabres out of five. And then on the team for the second picks, we have Capo Caco, um, Maddie. why do I forget how to pronounce his name? Beignet? Something like that. Maddie Beniers? I think it's Maddie Beniers, actually. Uh, Svechnikov, who is the highest rated player out of all of these. And Quinton Byfield and Nolan Patrick. Okay, so these guys are on defense, even though they're not defenders. So the other team definitely has the advantage in that regard. But, yeah. I mean, they still have two good players back here. And a stud right here in Andre Svechnikov, who could, in fact, bury the biscuit. So... There you have it. These are the two teams. I'm going to put them in a game. We're going to watch it and see how it goes down. So there you have it. I don't like when he holds the stick like that. Can we not do that? Anyway, um, yeah, it's the, the first versus the second. So line changes are off. Those guys are going to be out the entire time. I have it set to superstar. We're going to do three-minute periods. It's just going to be like a quick little experiment to see which team will come out on top. So make your predictions now. Who's it going to be? The first or the seconds? I feel like a lot of people are going to go with the firsts because they do have, you know, two defensemen that are actual defensemen where the seconds do not. But I'm going to take the seconds. I don't know. I just have a feeling that they're going to do solid here. So without further ado, let's jump in and let's see what happens here. So there's the overalls. The seconds are better on offense. And, of course, the firsts are better on defense. But, I mean, that's the overall team rating. And I had to take some players out. Because, you know, obviously, I did take the AHL team. Why is there only five people on the bench, too? What the heck? Well, I guess it's guys are out there just getting a stretch and whatnot. But here we go. Nico against Maddie, And Maddie takes the W. Puck is over to Svetch now. And that is a good way to start. Love that. All right, the action has begun yet again. Hughes going to get stapled against the boards there. Sveshnikov starting out physical. Oh, he's breaking past both the players here. Nico with it behind the net. And <laughs> him and Lafreniere are fighting for some reason behind the net. That was kind of weird. But the seconds are coming back the other way. Sveshnikov going to take a shot. And Mikey will blocker that one aside. All right, so it's been pretty even so far. Lafreniere is in, goes for a move into the middle. He succeeds and makes the pass, but to no avail. That was not received whatsoever. Patrick battling at the boards, and Rossmus goes for the good old-fashioned hockey play there. Just dump and chase, baby. Didn't really work out for him this time, though. Svetch goes for a pass in the middle to Kako. Will it be a give-and-go? No, it will not. Kako is... Look at this old-fashioned hockey. You love to see it. Just get pucks in deep, you know? In the middle, Rasmus Dahlin is blazing up the ice here. And Matty Beniers will pick his pocket. Are we going to see another old-fashioned hockey play here? No way. Capo Caco is walking in. He takes a shot. Looked like he was trying to go for the cheeky five-hole there. But Mikey said no. Not today. All right. Shop is closed, at least on that chance. Matty Beniers goes across the ice. I was actually 
so hyped to see that they were in the game because I saw the comment. And I'm like, yeah, that'd be sick. And then I realized that, you know, the first and second pick, Owen Power and Matty Beneers, they've been playing like very recently, but they were from uh, university hockey. And university hockey is not in this game. So I did the most recent roster update. And when I saw they were there, I was so hyped and decided. I have to, like, it's just, I have to do the video now. I can't not after seeing that. So, yeah, here we are, nonetheless. All right, Byfield. I'm gonna pass it over to Nolan Patrick, who is skating up the ice. Matty Beniers has it. He walks in the middle, takes a shot, and Di Pietro, who will smother that one. Okay, getting some chances at both ends of the ice right now. But I do think the, the seconds are playing a little bit better at this point in time, or at least getting better opportunities. Another draw win for Beniers. Capo Caco goes to take a shot, and he almost managed to get past two guys there, but ultimately Lafreniere will skate with it down the ice, skate right into Quinton Byfield, and give him the puck. Bold strategy. Oh, breakaway perhaps? Nice pass. Oh man, good try seconds. But a good defensive play from the first there on the back check. Nico gets it in the middle, and that won't go either. No good chance comes from that, even though they did get the puck right in the slot. The defense shut it down. Lafreniere again. He seems to be doing a lot of the puck carrying here, getting the puck up the ice a lot. For the first, Nico's in. He stops up, passes it back to Darlene, who just manages to get it to Nico. Hughes goes to take a shot. That won't go through. Power with a point shot. But the time runs out. In period number one, we have a nil-nil hockey game after one. We've seen a grand total of four shots so far. So that's good. I just realized, what happens if someone takes a penalty? I didn't edit the... Well, let's just hope that doesn't happen. <laughs> I didn't edit the power player PK at all. I'm assuming that these guys would be on there. But, I mean, oh, maybe I should have put like 50 overall players as the other guys. Because possibly not. All right, we're just going to hope no one takes a penalty. That's what it comes down to. Here we go. Period number two is underway. Power gets it up to Lafreniere. And the first get to the first zone entry of period number two. Almost have a chance in the middle there. But the seconds come storming back the other way. Sveshnikov goes for a pass in the middle. Power there to intercept. Capo Caco almost takes a shot in the slot. But no, doesn't get it off. Patrick, over to Kako, who gets in over the line. He has three guys chasing him. Di Pietro gets it, and he's going to pass it out to Owen, who now carries it. Stops up. Goes for a cross-ice pass to Nico. And Hughes is there at the blue line to take it in in the middle. And Nico is going to get dropped like a two-foot putt directly in front of the net. That was huge. Matty Beneers battling with it. Svech comes in to help him out, but Hughes gets it back to power. Lafreniere walking out. Now Dahlin with it to his teammate in this and, you know, on the Buffalo Sabres. So it's a double entendre. They are teammates here and in the actual NHL. The battle in the neutral zone will come to the first again. So they really came out to play in this period. They seem to be dominating at the moment. And Di Pietro will smother that, but he passes it out to Nolan Patrick. Sveshnikov gets hit behind the net. Nico goes for a pass in the middle, but they had that all clogged up. No way that puck was getting through. Oh, yeah? Matty Beniers goes for a deke. He tried to kick it to himself. That would have been mad lad behavior. In fact, it was mad lad behavior. He just didn't pull it off. But I do respect the effort. What's going on? That was weird. No? Was that not weird? Am I crazy? Seemed like everyone just kind of stopped and gave up. But, uh, nice chance there for the seconds, for sure. And now, the firsts are back in on the attack. And once again, the middle is all jammed up. Here comes Fetch. Oh, he does it. What a crazy man. Goes between the legs. Patrick takes a point shot. Mikey will be there for that one. Five minutes to go. And this game is still all tied up at zero. The draw goes to the firsts, but Sveshnikov manages to keep it in. Beneers has a chance in the slot. Di Pietro going to save that as well. And Andre getting a little up close and personal there. That was 
excessive for an exhibition game, but you know, it's whatever. I respect it. You, you want to win, fair enough. Draw will once again be in the first zone. And another draw win for them. They seem to be doing just all around better in the second period. But there have certainly been a lot of chances for the seconds. Alright, they're getting tons of opportunities as of recent. So we need the, what is it, Forest Lawn or something? We need that team to pick it up here if they don't want to get scored on. Maddie wins the draw. Byfield goes cross ice to Patrick. He has it again to his defensive partner once more. Veneers goes for the one-timer to Svetch who was winding up. But the pass was intercepted. And the first will finally get it out of their zone. But it doesn't look like they're going to get a great opportunity here whatsoever. As it comes right back into possession of... What, did I make them Sacramento? I, I don't know. I'm trying to call them something other than the first and second. But <laughs> I don't remember what I made their city. Was it Forest Lawn? Something like that. Regardless, period two is done. We still have goose eggs at both ends of the ice. So third period is going to be... Well, maybe not. It might not be. Might not be the ultimate decider because we might have overtime, but the firsts still only have a single shot. That is not good. I mean, if this thing goes to OT and then a shootout and... I mean, like, the shootout is probably going to have some of the AHL players. So, I mean, we might have to call an audible and just say it's a tie at that point. But, like, once again, let's see if it even gets there. A nice shot. From the first, their second shot of the game in period three. And it was a pretty good one. But Mikey was up to the challenge. And now, we got Byfield passing it over to Svechnikov, who's blazing up the ice. But a good step up there from the first defender. And now they're in on the attack. Hughes gets pinned. Lafreniere comes in to help out. But it doesn't matter because Matty Beneers was just waiting for that puck to pop out. And it sure did. And now they have it. But, oh no, Hughes doesn't get it out. Managed to keep it in. Now Byfield at the point. These guys just don't want to shoot from the point, eh? They're refusing. Nice pass down low. Matty Beneers with a good chance. Blocker to side, however. 14 minutes remaining in this one. And still no score. But that is not from lack of trying. There have been a lot of chances, but... Di Pietro is playing like he never did for the Hammerheads. Solid. And keeping the puck out at the moment. Capo Caco goes to Matty Beneers who takes another shot. The rebound will be picked up by Andre Svechnikov. And we have our first goal of the ma the maim? The maim. I was about to say matchup and game. And then I just like put them into one. And it became maim. So yeah, first goal of the maim. And that will put the second overall picks. Up one to nothing here. The first overalls are in trouble. They got to get something going quick. Because right now, they have... Okay, they have three shots. It's going to say that they only have double the amount of shots that the second pick's having goals. Not a stat you want to hear. Sveshnikov. Up the ice. Goes for a deke. But Owen Power is going to be there for that one and shut him down. Nico gets pinned at the blue line. Nolan Patrick is there to help his team out. Passes in the middle. Capo Caco going to bury that one as well. We have a 2-0 maim. And this is starting to look like a second overall game. I think they might have this one on lock. They are really dominating at the moment. But there is still 8 minutes remaining. So the first overalls could, in fact, get 2 goals. Definitely not ruling it out. But the way they've been playing, it just doesn't seem to be in their favor. You never know, though. Hockey is a weird, crazy sport where stuff can happen at any given moment. So, you gotta shut down second overalls defensively. And the first gotta just throw everything they can at them, pretty much. But I know that's not how the game is gonna work because they're computers. And I don't think that they really... Well, they do have strategies, I suppose. But do they actually... Use them. Lafreniere has a break. He goes backhand and what a save by Di Pietro. That was their best chance yet. And they still can't score. Veneers is there to take it off of Lafreniere. It is out of the zone. And he carries it all the way up the ice. Muscling past 
Two players gets it in the middle. And no goal will be scored there. But what an individual effort. Look at this guy go. What a legend. And then he gets stapled against the boards. Poor lad. But honestly, great effort. The net is empty for the first overalls. And here they come. The puck is on net. And that will be in. Capo Caco going to seal the deal. It looks like the seconds are definitely walking away with the W here. Will we at least see the first overall picks get one goal? Let's find out. Hughes, he looks like he wants to. He's in. He takes a shot that is just off the oven mitt. In the middle now to Hughes again. Another save for Di Pietro. 35 seconds remaining. I kind of want the first overalls to get at least one goal. Come on, one of you's got to score. I would think. Draw is to the left of second overall Di Pietro. <laughs> when was he actually drafted? I think it was somewhat late. But uh, I'm not too sure. It's actually really cool. Even looking at some of the recent drafts. Some of the players that get drafted, like, relatively late and just do very well, it's awesome. Like, Drake Batherson, I think he was a fourth round pick or something like that. And he has more points than a lot of people, like, probably even <laughs> were in the top ten in his same draft. Oh, they almost got another one! Di Pietro gonna stick out the right mini wheat and trip whoever that was. Ten seconds to go. Will we see one? Nico passes it back, and no, we will not. It is gonna be a 3-0 contest here. The second overalls really dominated that game, to be honest. They were in the driver's seat the entire time, it felt like. And sure, the firsts did have some great opportunities, and they had some pressure going, but man, they just couldn't find the back of the net. They even had a breakaway. That was the only breakaway of the game. And Di Pietro shut him down. So there you have it. The second overalls take home the W. Well, hopefully you guys found that one interesting. I thought it was pretty fun. You know, it's a small little experiment here, but it's it's pretty cool to see. I don't like how it cuts off the F there, so it just looks like a little... I don't even know what to call that, but yeah. Um, there you go. That's it. The shots ended up being 13-5. to 5. Time on attack was relatively even. Passing percentage, yeah, not too different. Hits even. Faceoffs one wasn't significant. No penalties, thankfully. And yeah, there we have it. So if you guys have any other suggestions or ideas for videos like this, go ahead and let me know. And I guess that's going to do it. So thanks for watching, guys. I appreciate you and I will see you soon.